This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 18th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with ABC 3340. Thanks for tuning in. Here's a look at our sky cam from Mount Chiha, and we're looking off to the east and slightly southeast. And uh, those are the last remnants of the clouds with the front that move through the area. And when we look at the Fultondale sky cam, uh, we can see that same uh, star or uh, planet out there, but uh, their clouds are so uh, low on the horizon, they're tough to see. The front did move through uh, our area uh, overnight and will be located by this afternoon off the uh, southeast U.S. coast. In the meantime, we do have a nice trough that's moving through, and that will, fortunately for us, it will not bring a, a really uh, big cold shot, but it will bring a little bit of a cool down. Today, we expect highs to only be in the, about the upper 50s. There's a look at surface uh, conditions across central Alabama, and you can see that we have a generally westerly flow as the air has uh, or the wind has turned around as a result of the front, and temperatures uh, generally across central Alabama, generally in the lower 40s for the most part, a few spots coming in in the upper 30s. QPF-wise, it looks like it's going to be a fairly dry week ahead, uh, but it is at the end of the week that we have some interesting issues to deal with, and we'll talk about those in just a minute. Storm Prediction Center is uh, not uh, forecasting any organized severe thunderstorms uh, for the next uh, three days, days one, two, and three. All right, let's get to the 06 GFS model run, and uh, there's the surface map for today. And you can see that uh, our surface high is has origins off to our west and not well to the northwest. And uh, in the upper atmosphere, the trough is moving by quickly, and that trough by Monday will uh, reach up into New England. So uh, we become more or less under a zonal flow. So using the 540 line as kind of a demarcation of the colder air, we can see that the colder air is up into the Virginia area and uh, West Virginia. We stay in a more or less zonal pattern on Tuesday as another trough begins to take shape off to our northwest and that uh, brings us a, a little bit cooler air on Wednesday and uh, I think once again this one will come through dry also on Wednesday but we see the 540 line back uh, in our vicinity. It is uh, generally close to the Alabama-Tennessee line. The Major, uh, the, the, the short wave that's bringing that trough has moved off, but another one digs in. So it's a situation where uh, we're going to have a, a continual um, series of these short waves that are digging in that are going to bring us some colder uh, air. So Thursday is colder and Friday is even colder. And this is where we get into a little bit of a situation where it looks like with a surface low uh, over the uh, or just off the southeast coast of the United States, it does look like we'll have a surface low moving along the Gulf Coast uh, Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. And so there's going to be a question about whether or not it'll be cold enough for us to start out with some precipitation that could be a mix of rain and snow and sleet. And I think we, uh, we might see something overnight Thursday night into Friday morning in which uh, the precipitation begins as a mixture uh, and then we'll switch over to uh, primarily just uh, rain uh, before it ends. But uh, we need to watch this because we are getting out pretty close to voodoo country, so we're going to have to watch uh, the evolution of this system. The flow goes zonal again on Saturday, but we stay somewhat coolish. As you can see, the 540 line stays pretty close. And then when we get out to Sunday, another short wave is coming down, and uh, the major long wave trough is over the eastern half of the country. So this is helping to reinforce the cold air, and uh, we see that cold air uh, with the 540 line coming down into the Cape Girardeau, uh, Dyersburg, Tennessee area, uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And then uh, when we get out into voodoo country, we have another uh, substantial, uh, uh, not, not a really powerful short wave, but we have a nice short wave that is moving through the flow, and that's likely to bring us some wet weather around the 29th. That looks like it'll be wet and not uh, any kind of winter precipitation, but the bottom falls out of everything by the 2nd of February, and we were noticing this on the GFS yesterday, so uh, it's still maintaining this, uh, this idea, and uh, this will be one that we will definitely have to watch, but of course, out in voodoo country, it could be gone tomorrow. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Uh, James Spann should have the next one posted first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates on the weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.